legislative proposal will have on the forest sector. And I think Commission has already mentioned it, I think, very well in the, their aim for the new, new EU forest strategy, uh, how to ensure strong EU coordina uh, coordination because of the aim of, of, of trying to achieve a better co policy consistency in this field. Um, well, we want to turn now the, to the, uh, our attention to then one of the specific dossiers. Um, as was highlighted, this is then due for presentation sometime next year and to be discussed between the co-legislators, the Council and the Parliament, and hopefully with a lot of input also from the stakeholder community. Well, our view is looking at this, one has to take care, and if you allow an expression, not to throw out the baby with the bathwater, because basically the validity of the EU4 strategy is, is intact. And by that I mean that all the basic things, the right things, to cover, it's covering themes and principles are there, but with an aging policy instrument, the, the high level attention span is not that huge. So it will, the, to maintain a policy relevance, you need to bring it up. And you also need to retouch the language. Because in 1998, we may, might not have expressed ourselves um, uh, on the subject of climate change as we do today. So there is those views. And of course, it has to be focused on where we will have EU added value. And before you ask me what the EU had value, of course, I will want to give you some guidance on what we think that would be. Now, uh, within the EU, the current uh, strategy and its follow implementation tool, FAP, these have been elements that are already there, but they can be further developed. And it's information dissemination to have an exchange of knowledge and experience between the EU member states. All of them, even though we represent different corners of Europe, have uh, the challenges that are common and some that we also can use to, to further and build our own knowledge and to also develop our national policies. So that is a valuable tool. Of course, forest research is also one of those where we would see EU add value and to have insurance of the common market functions. I said it before, one would, where we would see an area for improvement is the fact that we need perhaps to have a better coordination and coherence between the different policy areas affecting forestry. And it was mentioned by Peter, and I think also our, our moderator was touching on this issue before, that there is a, a, a potential for development there, and, and the Commission is, is very aware of it, and we're all interested to work uh, to achieve this end. Okay, and of course, where you're asking viewpoints, you will also draw up red lines. It sounds very, very harsh, but <laughs> The, the fact of the matter is that we also have things that we should believe that the EU and, and uh, 